It's time now for the best high school sports action from the WBCB Sports Network. Catch the best games from Bucks and Mercer County at WBCBSports.com and our Facebook page. Your home for high school sports is right here at WBCB 1490. The road to repeat continues tonight on WBCB, the defending Central Jersey Group 3 champs, the Nottingham North Stars, looking to build off of their close victory a week ago against Brick Memorial. A 52-50 victory last time for the defending champs, the Nottingham North Stars, as they play host tonight to the Colonials of Freehold Borough. A pleasant good evening, everybody. Mike Warren alongside the Mercer County Hall of Famer, Rich Fisher, for some more Mercer County High School basketball action here on WBCB. Fish, we missed you last week. So good to have you back with us. And this is a great game lined up for us tonight, looking at both of these teams on paper, experience, and a whole lot of we've been there before, it's time to do that now in terms of a mindset heading into tonight's contest. Uh, they're going to need that. And uh, thank you, Michael. It's good to be back. I was. Uh, sick as a dog, but I did watch you guys from my couch. I watched the entire game last week, so uh, fine job, fine job, and a heck of a game you guys had. Um, so anyway, let's get to this thing tonight. This is going to be electric in here. Uh, according to Chris the Baron Raba, this, is ba this game is basically going to be similar to a sectional championship game that's just being played three games early. Uh, the Nottingham coach was quick to point out that very rarely do you see two quarterfinal opponents, both with 20 wins. You don't get 20 win teams matching up this early. But that's exactly what we have here tonight. The Colonials are 20 and 7. North Stars are 21 and 6. Freehold's won three straight in 10 of its last 12. And they, they rolled past Matawan by 17 in their first round matchup. Uh, kind of pulled away late. Um, to win it easily, but uh, this team, <laughs> they played a bear of a schedule. They have just two losses to teams with losing records, and the record, listen to this, the record of the other five teams that they've lost to is 85 and 19. Wow. <laughs> they've fallen twice to St. Rose, which is the state's number one team, and you know, the odds on favor to win non-public B, and they fell to Manasquan, which lost to St. Rose, in the Shore Conference Tournament Championship game. Araba says, and I quote, this is a direct quote, <laughs> this game is going to be like a heavyweight championship fight. Free Old Borough is an excellent team. We are going to have to play well to compete. This is a sectional championship caliber team. Uh, now, Borough, they're extremely athletic, and you can see that just from watching them warm up. And the Baron, you know, noted he, three of their five starters can dunk the ball easily. They love to get out in transition, play in space, and they excel at getting the ball down court quickly. Defensively, they're going to trap, they're going to jump the ball. So Nottingham's going to have to be prepared for a lot of pressure and a lot of running, but they're going to try to hope they can stop that running. Uh, you look at this team, and there's not a guy that you can say, all right, this is a guy we're going to key on. Junior guard Brian Tassi, 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 Tassi. He leads the team in scoring 12 points. Aiden Hamlin, Wolfalk, and Kwamir Everett, right behind at around 11. Christian DeGizio, 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 is it? I think it's uh, DeGizio. DeGizio, thank you. He's just a shade under at 10. So they got a lot of free, different guys that can score. DeGizio has 36 three pointers, and Sam Cranwell. He only averages six points. He's got 34 three-pointers. He's only got 24 three twos, but he's got 34 threes. So, obviously, you got to watch that guy when he's in there. Uh, to under the boards, Tassie and Everett are the guys Nottingham need to keep off the boards. It's a formidable squad, but so are these hometown North Stars, who obviously know how to win, as witnessed by last year's sectional title. And... Mike, you know as well as I do, Raba has just built a winning tradition yep. since coming over here from Hamilton West in 2012. I did a little research and compilation of stats today, and uh, in the 12 years Raba's been there, counting this one, Nottingham's gone 213 and 101 wow. for a 678 winning percentage. 
They've had just two losing seasons. They've had one 30-win season and four other 20-plus victory campaigns. And um, this is kind of leading up to what I'm going to say now. They have become a very dangerous postseason team, particularly in the states. They've been, they've been okay in the counties. They've gotten to a couple finals, 1-1, one, one, um, you know, been to some semis. But in the states, since the 2016-17 season, Nottingham has gone 18-5 and five in Central Jersey Group 3 play. Wow. They've won a Group 3 title. They've won a tournament of champions game. They've reached two state finals. They've reached three sectional finals. And they're gunning for their third Central Jersey Group 3 crown this year. Uh, that's a sign that a team is playing its best at the end of the year. And... You know, as sometimes happens, Nottingham had to survive an early round scare, and you guys did the game. Uh, they did it last Thursday when uh, Jameer Miller paced that two-point win over Stubborn Brick Memorial, and boy, what a game that was. And uh, if you've watched us much of the year, you know Nottingham's heart and soul is Dom Raymond. That's right. The relentless senior, he's put up player of the year numbers this year. He averages 19 points. 9.5 rebounds that's only half of his value i mean the big guy's tenaciousness his will just to do what needs to be done runs through this entire team he rubs he rubs off on everybody yep um also like freehold nottingham has various scoring options jordan Raba is trouble for defenses with a three-point shooting he can also penetrate he can pass the ball can thread the needle leads nottingham and assists with a hundred yeah, if Raymond and Rob are nullified, Miller has shown on numerous occasions he can pick up the scoring slack. And you can never sleep on Dante Alexander. Both of those guys are averaging double figures. And then, interesting, Rasan Washington. He has 70 assists in 16 games since becoming eligible. But as of late, he's gotten a little more offensive-minded. When I was watching you guys the other night, I was shocked when he hit those two threes Great right yep. early in the game. I'm like, this guy never shoots this much. Yeah, he, they left him alone, and he made him pay for and it. And he made him pay for it, absolutely, and that's a good sign. I mean, here's another guy now that you have to worry about. So he's got eight, 15 and 8 in the last two games, and he can continues to play hard-nosed defense, but his biggest value tonight could be as a ball handler because Nottingham is going to need somebody to be able to dribble the ball against his pressure defense that Freehold likes to play. And then finally, Matt Giuliano, we don't say a real lot about him, but this guy has quietly enjoyed an outstanding season as Nottingham's sixth man. Yep. Always seems to do something whenever he comes in. Um, look, tonight, maybe more than any, any other game this year, Nottingham is going to have to play outstanding team defense. Obviously, that's the goal every year. But they got to be able to defend in the, in the half court because these guys can all score. They got to be able to most importantly get back quickly, not allow Freehold to turn this into a horse race. And I'm guessing Nottingham is going to try to run a deliberate offense. They'll run if the opportunity arises, but they do definitely not want to turn this into a track meet. So sit back and relax, folks, and listen to Mike Warren lose his breath. Is he's not going to he's not going to have a lot of time to come up for air in this one, I don't think. So. Uh, we're ready to roll, baby. Can't wait. This should be an exciting one tonight. Fish, a great job as always. Fish for Scores on Twitter. Give him a follow. He does a tremendous job covering all the Mercer County teams and a great job with the color commentary, as you just heard here on WBCB. You mentioned the defense in this game, Fish, and there's a whole lot of offense, a whole lot of high-flying ability, but the defense, that is what Chris the Baron Raba is known for. Right. Abilities to keep teams off balance, and he did so last game in the second quarter against Brick Memorial, switched it up to a 1-3-1 half-court zone, and the North Stars were able to go on a 16-6 run in the quarter that capped off the quarter, and ultimately, it wasn't the deciding factor in the game, but him being able to pull that card out when he needs to was a turning factor for the North Stars. Defense to offense is when they're at their best, and they're going to have to do so again tonight against a high-flying Freehold Borough Colonial squad that is led by the by the junior forward in Brian Tassie. And just watching them in warm-ups, you mentioned it, there's a number of guys, Chris Raba even knows it, that can dunk the ball with ease. Well, Kwamir Everett got above the rim, his chest pretty much at the rim during warm-ups, going yeah. to the hoop. 
Aiden Hamlin Wolfolk, another junior swingman that averages 11 a game, and he can elevate and throw it down when he needs to. And of course, Brian Tassie at six feet four inches tall, he can really get up and throw it down as well. They've got shooters, they've got experience, they've got spacing when they're at their best. And we got to see Freehold Burrow about a year ago when they took on Robbinsville in the regular season. That right. game was on WBCB, and they got a pretty tough test against Connor Hayes' squad. Two different parallels, though, when you talk about Robbinsville and Nottingham. The North Stars, they can beat you in a number of different ways, and it truly does start for them on the defensive side of the floor. Yeah, it does. I, I, the one thing I think, you know, we, and you're right, we do know that they like to go offense from defense a lot, but in this game, I, I don't think, I don't know if they're going to try to force that issue or just take it if it's completely there. Because, again, that's what Freehold wants to do. Right. They want to do it, too. Does Nottingham think they have enough to run with these guys? That's the thing. Uh, maybe they do. I mean, they can obviously run. We've seen them do it. But we've also seen them try to run a deliberate offense, too. You know, we saw it against Pennington. Um, you know, they, they, uh, they can play a lot of different ways. And, and, and you, you know, you made a great point about going to that 1-3-1 one, one, because that did make a big difference. And listen, here's, here's, here's something. I mean, I, I don't know if it's going to mean anything or not, but usually in these state games, a lot of times it's like every other day. You play Tuesday, you come back and play Thursday. Then maybe sometimes you even play on Saturday, and then you play your sectional final the, the, the early next week. This game, they played Thursday, and they've had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to prepare for this team. Let me tell you something. You give Chris Raba four days to prepare for a team, he's going to come up with something. I mean, part of, the, part of the challenge in the States is having little time, quick turnarounds and having little time to prepare for teams. Four days. I mean, you watch the film. You know what they do. You run things in practice. I think that is going to make a big, big I'm not going to say difference, but I think it's going to have an impact on this game. Tonight's game on WVCB is brought to you by the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, the Capital Health System, the New Jersey Education Association, the Revere Restaurant, Team Toyota, Kessel Dermatology, Alderman Ford Subaru, Saw Funeral Home, Jammer Doors and Windows, Hyundai of Trenton, the Hamilton Township Division of Health, the Hamilton Township Education Association, the Italian People's Bakery, the Trentonian, all proud to bring you today's contest here on WBCB. We'll step aside and turn things over to the public address announcer here at Nottingham in just a minute. We'll say honor his, America. Say his name, John Bing Young. There it is, John he'll, he'll, Bing Young. I had the pleasure of meeting Bing officially last week, and it was great to meet him. Pleasure, huh? Is that what you're calling it? At this time, everybody, please rise and remove your hats for the state of our national anthem.
Lineups are set again. Tonight's starting five for both of these teams. First, for the visiting Colonials of Freehold Borough, Aiden Wolfolk, Kwamir Everett, Sam Cranwell, Christian DeGaizo, and Brian Tassie. The starting five for head coach Ben DiBiase and the Freehold Borough Colonials. For the North Stars of Nottingham, Jordan Rava in the backcourt with Rashawn Washington and Dante Alexander. Jameer Miller rounds out the front court with Dom Raymond. Tell us about, oh, jeez. <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> tell, me what, clear. tell us, tell everybody what you told me off the air about Dom Raymond, pal. Yeah, Dom Raymond on the uh, left leg, a, a knee sleeve and some pre-wrap around that left knee and been revealed to us that he's been dealing with a bit of a bone bruise on that left knee and resulted much so because of that, that slow start was because of that, that left knee that's been banged up a bit. So Raymond not jumping ball. Jameer Miller at center floor with Everett, who wins the tip. Hey, can I just say that sucks about Dom Raymond because he was hurt last year in the, at the end of the tournament run, and he could barely even walk. Look Tassie at this. He lets one fly off. Strong board from Raymond, and here come the North Stars. Transition, Miller up and in. <laughs> Jameer Miller with a quick two, picking up right where he left off last week with 20 points against Brick Memorial. Here come the Colonials. Kicking inside, Ooh. Wolfolk lost it. Raymond, he'll hound him for it, but he'll regain possession. Wolfolk, DeGaizo, baseline, trying to work it. He's doubled, falls loose, and that's gonna be a backcourt violation. Couldn't ask for a better start for Nottingham. The energy here in the Galaxy, the stars are out. Yeah. And a whole lot of North Star alumni in attendance here tonight. The semifinals of the Central Jersey Group 3 playoffs here from the home of the North Stars. Freehold showing a little bit of jitters here early on. That should be expected. You're playing in an unfamiliar territory against the defending sectional champ, no less. Corner three from Washington, left short. Batted about and hauled in by the Colonials. DeGaizo, other end, no numbers. Stripped from behind by Miller. Jameer Miller with some handsy defense. Defense is key for this North Star squad, already forcing two turnovers. Yep. Right. Now we see him. A little Raymond. deliberate here. Working the curl action here with Washington. Backdoor cut for oh. Raba, stolen. Force that one. Tassie comes up with the steal. Up ahead, here's Everett. Up, blocked, but a foul. Looks like Raba, Raba got some of the basketball, but a little bit more of the forearm yeah. down low on Kwamir Everett. Don't forget, you miss any of today's action, you can read all about it in tomorrow's edition of the Trentonian for your complete local and national news. Seven days a week, it's the Trentonian, or online at trentonian.com. The only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week. It's the Trentonian. You know, I think secretly Colin wants to be the point guard. I'm 
looking at him pointing at things here and directing traffic. <laughs> Colin Sommer producing tonight's stream. Does a great job, as always, keeping us in line here got, behind the table. He's got game face on. Everett's second attempt is good. Splits a pair at the stripe. Colonial's down by one. This is Raba. Corner. Drives. Eurostep. Hit. And I believe Reach it's on in. the floor. Baseline yeah, entry Tassie. for the North Stars. Tassie will be tabbed for the foul. Each team with a foul apiece. Alexander inbounds to Miller. Gets it back in the corner. Hoist a three. Too strong. Miller second chance. Inside. Kick out. Washington will reset. Man to man so far for the Colonials. Here's Alexander. Jab stepping and driving. Gets help from Raymond on the screen. Yeah, he walked. A little too happy of feet for Dom Raymond to start. A turnover for the Colonials. Started to make some moves with the ball in his hand. Drug his feet along with it. Nearing the six-minute mark here in quarter number one. The guys are working it around. Everett will step into a three and hits. Amir Everett. He's got all four for the Colonials. Miller gets inside. Right-hand floater. Not there for him. Last touched by the Colonials. It's going to stay with the North Stars. Tamir Miller, offensive-minded now. Why not? Not only did he have a big scoring game, he had the big basket to end the game. Washington doesn't see what he likes. Calls a timeout. North Star is going to have to talk some things over as Washington wanted Robba to come to the corner, but it wasn't there. 4-2 to two the score, 5.46 to go, quarter number one. Here in the semifinals of the Central Jersey Group 3 playoffs. Today's game is brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association. We would like to take this opportunity to wish all of their students the best of luck this school term. They are proud to support you. This message brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association. I got to give, give, give freehold student section a, a props here. Oh, the fans and the students all making the trip here to Nottingham yeah, for this big, one. Yeah, big crowd of students behind the uh, Colonials bench. Yeah, good for them. The energy definitely felt here from the Galaxy. Got to think they had a bus that came down from freehold. Washington back to inbound corner. Raba, hold drive inside. Post up, Tassie puts it up. Not there. Second chance. Batted about and hauled in by the Colonials. This is Tassie into the front court. Head up, gets inside, puts it up. Too strong. Miller with the board. Raba, three. No. Raymond aboard. Tough. Wanted to go to the fadeaway, but didn't have the pressure on that knee that he liked. No. There from Raymond and quickly got rid of it. That was a tough rebound he got there. North Stars trail by a deuce. We don't have heights on these guys, but. Vermeer Everett with a steal. Other end, Eurostep off the glass and in. Everett's got all six for the Colonials. And the emotions already riding high in this one. A warning, I believe, assigned to both teams. Oh, okay. As Everett, after he scored the basket, a delay of game warning assigned. 6-2, Colonials on top, all from Quamir Everett. Whoa. Robba's pass, too wide for Alexander. Well, It'll go back the other way. Nottingham looks discombobulated right now, but Robba likes to, uh, he likes to let his guys play their way out of these things a lot of times. North Stars trailing by four. Alexander on DeGaizo, giving him all he can handle. Inside, right hand hit, and he'll go to the line for two. The senior guard in Christian DeGaizo. Foul against Raba. I believe that's the second foul against Raba. We don't have heights on these guys, but I'll tell what you say Hamlin Wolfalk is. He's up there. 6'6 six, six at least. Yeah. Seven in a row now for Freehold Burrow. Freehold Burrow student section is out in full force tonight. Two of two at the line for DeGaizo. 
Eight to two, Freehold Burrow. Alexander to Raymond, the floater, it's good. Just what the North Stars needed. Yep. A big field goal from their captain and Dom Raymond. Right. DeGaizo gets inside, kicks out. This is Rufol. Corner. Now wing. Tassie. Trying to make something happen. Two-man action. Rufolk's three on the way. Rims out. Rebound by Raba. Head up. This is Miller. Whoa. Draws contact. Tassie hits the hardwood pretty hard and Needs a second before he's helped to his feet by a couple of Colonials. Uh, that's two on Tassie. Will Hahn will be coming in, check in for him. We may have seen, we may have seen a last of Tassie for at least this quarter. Will Hahn gives Tassie a breather. Still raining out. People are coming in wet. Oh! Inside, couldn't see it near uh, us. Wolfall, uh, Hamlin Wolfall blocked, uh, I believe it was Miller. I'm not 100% sure, but it was a block shot. A near sellout crowd here from the Galaxy. People packed in the bleachers right next to us at the table. Alexander with the guys on him, blows by, lays it up and in. Track meet, other side, Wufolk responds. Left hand drop shot for two. Yeah, that was pretty. Here come the North Stars. Trailing by four. Alexander with the Geizo on him. Washington commands it back. Will Hahn on Washington. The Geizo on Alexander. Here's Raymond with Rufolk on him. Raymond from the elbow. Drops it in. Dom Raymond. Two for two from the field. Raymond starting to feel it a little bit with that. Little soft touch around the basket. Everett lines up a three and hits. Line drive. Premier Everett, second three of the quarter. Yeah, he's got nine. Alexander to Raymond. Yeah. Had Miller now low, but it's stolen. Carey called, and that's the right call as Everett brung that ball well above his shoulders. Well, Nottingham has six turnovers already. Some of them really have been unforced, though. They just sort of, what one, they just sort of threw the ball out of bounds. Robba to inbound right in front of the North Star cheerleaders. Washington gets it in the backcourt. Hahn on Washington. Raymond comes to set a high ball screen. Hoist a three. Too strong. Everett with a board. DeGaizo wants a triple. Knocks it down. DeGaizo from deep. Well, we're seeing a little bit of what he can do. He can get inside and hit from the perimeter. Miller gets in the lane. Almost thought he had a chance at one more at the line, but he'll shoot two. DeGaizo with a three from the parking lot. Third three of the quarter for the Colonials. Yeah, that one on Cranwell. Yeah. Miller can't get the first. Big game. Everything's everything's magnified, including free throws. Second of two for Miller at the stripe, coming off of his 20-point performance. Just a game ago, already has two tonight. Make a three. Makes it a seven-point game. Colonials on top. Han and DeGaizo working the two-guard high set to work the 1-3-1 one, one pressure. And here we see it already. Chris Raba into that 1-3-1 one, one zone. Wolfolk's floater blocked inside. Everett the second chance is good. Premier Everett pouring it on in the first quarter. Blue He's got 11. Sure is. Holy cow. Raymond muscling inside. Second chance with the left hand. Six for Raymond. Yeah, Raymond's not going to let this get too out of hand. Raymond knows every game he plays is, is potentially his last. So he doesn't want his last one to be a loss. Ball batted out of bounds by Jordan Raba. It'll stay with the Colonials. And in comes the sixth man for the North Stars, Giuliano to sub in for Rashawn Washington. Wolfolk to inbound into Hahn. 
Still in the 1-3-1 are the North Stars defensively. DeGaizo swings it over to Hahn. Skip pass, Cranwell, Everett. Hans three on the way. Rims out, Miller with a board. No numbers for the North Stars. Alexander tries his shot at three. Oh, off back iron. It'll head out of bounds and back down the other side of the floor with Freehold Burrow. Pretty deep, Al. That's a pretty deep shot by Alexander. He's made him from there, but uh, I don't think I, I don't think you want to be going from that far out too often. Hahn and DeGaizo commanding the two guard high set yet again. Wufolk in the high post. DeGaizo taking their time. The Colonials working through this 1-3-1 zone. Trying to put a halt on their three-point shooting to start are the North Stars. Here's Whoa. a healthy three. It's good! You gotta be kidding me. Christian DeGaizo! Not, here I am saying that Washington shoot, or uh, Alexander's shooting deep. I was even deeper. He might have left the galaxy with that attempt. Absolutely. Wow. Miller to Giuliano, weaving around the perimeter are the North Stars. Here's Raymond to Raba. Alexander with Han on him, trying to make something happen, and he's fouled. And Han trying to play right up on him defense, but it got a little handsy. Alexander draws the foul. It's a 10-point advantage on the scoreboard for Freehold Burrow. Not okay. something you hear all that often here from the Galaxy for Nottingham. Yeah, when you do, the Stars usually have a run in them. Robin to inbound. Everett hounding him. Side inbounds goes into Alexander. Alexander. Here's Giuliano on the give and go. Alexander's left hand is good. There's Giuliano doing whatever, doing little things. <laughs> nice little pass to the cutting Alexander. DeGaizo a little bit far out from his range, just as no. I say that. No, oh, that off gone back in. iron. Cranwell at the buzzer. It won't fall. One quarter in the books. An eight-point advantage for the Colonials. Three quarters away from knocking off the two-seed North Stars. After a strong first quarter effort, second quarter on the other side of this timeout, it's the North Stars and the Colonials here in the Central Jersey Group 3 playoffs on WBCB. New Jersey. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation. And that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. Car buying made simple at Hyundai of Trenton, 1655 North Olden Avenue in Ewing Township. Over 100 new Hyundai models from Elantras and Sonatas to SUVs like the Hyundai Santa Fe, Tucson, and Palisade, including hybrid models. Hyundai of Trenton has the inventory, including a huge selection of pre-owned certified vehicles. No market adjustments. Get an extra $1,000 rebate trade-in value towards your vehicle. 1655 North Olden Avenue in Ewing Township. Hyundai of Trenton, the area's newest growing auto dealer. Well, four three-pointers there in the first quarter for the Colonials. Nottingham did not get a tray in that quarter. And uh, they've also went to, they also hit three out of four from the line, whereas Nottingham was just one for two from the line, so. Raba inbounds to Alexander. Same five on the floor to, that ended the first quarter for Chris Raba's North Stars. Nottingham doing a good job on the boards. They're out rebounding him seven to four. Miller. Gets inside, kicks out to Giuliano. They'll reset with Alexander. Miller in the corner, Wufolk on him. Trying to create some space. Miller to Raymond uh -oh. on the low block for two. That's Tom Raymond, give him eight. That's the North Stars finding each other. When they start doing that on a regular basis, they're going to be tough to stop. Cranwell in the high post looking for help corner. Here's Wufel. This 1-3-1 zone is 
Done its job for the most part for Nottingham. Alexander gets a hand on the loop pass. Over to the Geizo. It'll stay with Freehold Burrow. Yeah, it's becoming kind of the secret weapon, huh? The high pass is two guard high set for Freehold Burrow. Will Hahn and Christian DeGaizo continue to run it. Alexander, the high man on, in this 1 3 1 zone. Cranwell, a dead on three. Hard off back iron. Long board brought in by Everett. Here's Hahn inside. Cranwell puts it oh. up. He's denied. Dom Raymond stepped on the line. It'll go back with Freehold Burrow under their own basket. Raymond thought he was fouled, but his foot was on the baseline first. I think Giuliano got that with that long arm, and Raymond grabbed it. DeGaizo in the corner, catch and shoot three. It's good. Boy, that kid's something else. Christian DeGaizo, his third triple. He's got 11. And he's not afraid to shoot it from anywhere. And Miller in the corner. It's not like he's just throwing them up and, you know, making one out of seven. He's making them. Raba off the curl, gets inside, gets a defender in the air, doesn't get the roll. Everett with a rebound. Here come the Colonials. DeGaizo. Back to Everett. He'll let it go from three. Left it short. That'll go back with Nottingham. A nine-point deficit on the scoreboard. 24-15 the score. Seven ticks over six minutes in this second pe period here from the Galaxy. Home of the North Stars. The two-seed North Stars down by nine. Raymond. Wufolk on him. Raba left alone. Lines up a, a triple. It won't drop. Raymond fouled inside, and it'll stay with Nottingham. He's had to work for every rebound, and he drew that foul just as, as good as you can draw it up, really. Yeah, for sure. Got position inside and drew the contact on his way down after hauling in the offensive board. That's two fouls on Cramwell now. Raymond with four rebounds, eight points and four rebounds. Cranwell gets subbed out. Damian Hester checks in. Damian Lester, excuse me. Giuliano say. up and under move, won't go inside. Batted about and hauled in by the Colonials. DeGaizo trying to create space. Swung around the perimeter. Hahn knifing in, draws contact. And he'll head to the stripe for two. These guards, like to, they like to penetrate. Guard play has been a strength so far for the Colonials. Yeah, I mean, what do you, you come out and try to guard those threes, and then they'll they'll try to penetrate on you. you try to lay back, they'll launch a three. Han sinks the first since 1899. Proud to be a part of your greater Hamilton Township community is Saul Funeral Home. Saul Funeral Home is a fourth generation family owned business that proudly supports our community and has guided families in Mercer County when they needed it the most. Their caring, dedicated and compassionate staff is always ready to go above and beyond to bring you the closure you deserve while celebrating the unique life of your loved one. Visit SaulFuneralHomes.com. That's SaulFuneralHomes.com. Han one for one at the line. Make it two for two. And Colonials now with their biggest lead at 11. A double digit advantage on the scoreboard for the Colonials. North Stars need a response. Miller hounded by Everett. Colonials bench wanted a five second violation. And you know what, Mike? That's the right word. They, they hound. They really do. They hound you. Raymond backing down Wufolk. Turnaround up and under move. Too strong off iron. Miller's second chance. That drops in. Jameer Miller. He's got five. Back to a single digit advantage for Freehold Burrow. Can't say enough good things about Jameer Miller and the way he's stepping up. Lester high post. DeGaizo catch and shoot. Too much. Robbo with the board. Here comes Raba. All the way, root to the hoop for two. How many times have we seen that by Jordan Raba? He loves to do that. 
Raba goes coast to coast, and the Colonials need to talk some things over. 26-19 the score, and the North Stars with a little bit of momentum. Yep, Ben Tobias doesn't want them to build anymore. Tobias takes a timeout. The Hamilton Township Division of Health offers a variety of free services to keep you and your community healthy. It's important for everyone to stay up to date on recommended vaccines or flu shots. Whether you or a loved one needs one, the Hamilton Township Division of Health is here to help. For more information, you can visit hamiltonnj.com slash health, hamiltonnj.com slash health. Stay healthy, Hamilton. Not sure if we mentioned it before. This is the second seed, Nottingham, against the seventh seed. And they will, they, the winner will play the winner of third-seeded Burlington Township and sixth-seeded Ewing. There's four, four, four games left in Central Jersey Group 3. Each game has a Mercer County team, has a CVC team. You got Robbinsville playing, Hopewell playing, Nottingham playing, and uh, Ewing playing. Hahn works it into the high post to Lester. Loses his dribble, kicks it out. Catch and shoot three from Hahn, nothing. Way off. Sam Faithlin into the game, hauls in the rebound for the North Stars. Raba digging into his bench just a little bit here in quarter number two. Nearing the four minute mark in the first half. Faithlin flashes high ball screen and pulls out. A call for it again, Alexander. Inside, left hand, off the glass and in. Wow, they set that up perfect to open that lane up, and Alexander took it. Just like that, it's a five-point game. The guy's Oda Wufolk, he's doubled. Back out to Lester. Wufolk on the baseline, knifes in, blocked by Raymond. Alexander, pass up ahead to Miller, but it had too much mustard on it. Turnover for the North Star, is that their seventh fish? That is their eighth. Eighth turnover for Nottingham. Sends it back with the Colonials just when they could make it a one possession game for the yeah. North Stars. They hand it right back. Brian Tassie back into the game for the Colonials. Still scoreless after picking up two quick fouls. Guard heavy set. Tassie, skip pass. Stolen by Faithlin. North Stars in transition. Faithlin coast to coast lays it in. <laughs> you don't see that. You see Jordan Robert do that. You don't see. Sam Faithlin do that. They're used to just seeing him do some of the dirty work under the board. Robin with the steal. Miller up ahead. Misses it. Wow. Tassie and Raymond hit the floor. Miller caught up in it. And Miller a little hobbly before he can get up. Raymond possessing the basketball, but a jump ball is the call, I believe. Tell you what. The roof would have come down if that ball had gone in. This place was ready to explode. Rabo with the instincts, read the pass, did a great job of finding Miller, and that ball just hung on a rim and rolled off. Defense to offense. The recipe all season long for Nottingham. Turnover sends things back with the Colonials. Raymond picking up the foul. I believe the call was not a jump ball. 26-23 the score. North Stars trail by a triple. DeGaizo looking for Wufol, gets it to him. Zone play defensively from the North Stars. A huge key in this run. Wufolk down low, stolen. Alexander into the front court. Has it poked away, but Miller comes up with it. He'll pull it out. 2.35 and counting here in the second quarter. North Stars trail by three. Alexander trying to get loose. DeGaizo on him. Here's Sam Faithlin. Miller intended, but Faithlin gets it back. Raymond from 18. Oh, no. Rough. And Everett going to draw the foul on Sam Faithlin 90 feet away from the basket. Yeah. I think Faithlin's uh, momentum or whatever kind of took him into that. I'll tell you, Freehold might want to, they, they need to start getting some stuff inside. They've been hitting all these threes, but you're not going to hit threes consistently all game. I mean, I don't think. I, maybe these guys do. I don't know. Raba almost came up with another steal. Corner, Cranwell inside. Skip pass to Geizo. Great ball movement from the Colonials. Oh. 
travel wow. called. Did not see that one coming, Rich Fisher. No, no I thought they were going to send Tassie to the line. I didn't see that coming either. This place is jumping. 26-23 the score. Yeah. Final two minutes in the first half. Dante Alexander to Jameer Miller. Faithlin remains in the game. Valuable reserve minutes for Chris Raba's squad down the stretch of the first half. Alexander, nothing there. Trying to draw a foul. Dante Alexander drives to the rim and in. Dante Alexander, a fire lit under him. He's got nine. But Nottingham's got 10 in a row now. DeGaizo skip pass. Gets it back. Works it out. Rufolk. This zone has been tremendous yes, for has. the North Stars. Wu Folk in the corner, lines up a three. Won't fall. Second chance for the Colonials. Tassie gets the deflected pass into the backcourt. Didn't get two feet into the front court, and it's a backcourt violation. North Stars trailing by one, a chance to take the lead you know, with a field goal. You were thinking if they kept hitting those threes, they might have to come out a little bit out of that zone, but the three-point shooting has sort of dried up a little bit right now. And 12 to five run for the North Stars in the quarter alone. Robin needs help, here's Miller. Now Alexander. Faithlin sets a screen, he doesn't use it. Baseline drive, too much on it. Batted about and hauled in. Here come the Colonials. Wufel up ahead. Gets contact. The bucket and a chance for one more. Yeah, that's a big answer by Wufel. Faithlin not in agreement with the call as he didn't think he got enough of them to draw the whistle. Wufel's first points of the night. It's two on Or Sam. second basket of the night. First chance at free throws for the N1 opportunity. Stick around post game, the Italian People's Bakery, proud to sponsor our player of the game interview, the Italian People's Bakery at 63 Butler Street, proud to sponsor high school sports on the WBCB Sports Network. Can't make the N1 for Wu Folk, last touch by the Colonials that'll go back with Nottingham. Washington back into the game for Chris Raba. Same starting five for the North Stars on the floor to end quarter number two. 27.7 seconds on the clock. Nottingham would love to get a, a two or a three here. Have this game tied or a one point game after all their hard work in this quarter. North Stars trailing by three. One from Washington. 11. Double fist the call from Rashawn Washington. The senior guard works it to the left side of the floor. Raymond bluffs the screen, Raba. Sidestep triple, knocks it down! The clock expires, 28s on the scoreboard as we head to the halftime locker room. Well, how about that, huh? <laughs> Raba with five in the quarter, the three to cap it off. 28-28 the score through one half of play in the Central Jersey Group 3 semifinals. More on the other side of this timeout here on WBCB. This is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to thank the students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game.
Hi, Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health, proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, It's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Kessel Dermatology in Hamilton Square is an award-winning dermatology practice led by Dr. Daniel Kessel, a board-certified dermatologist. He and his expert staff treat patients of all ages. They offer treatments of all types of skin, hair, and nail conditions, and annual skin cancer screenings, anti-aging treatments, ultraviolet A and B light treatments, skin tightening procedures, Botox, and other treatments that enhance your skin's overall health and appearance. Kessel Dermatology is open Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Friday, 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. For appointments, call 609-890-2600. That's 609-890-2600. Or visit KesselDermatology.com. They're at 1700 Whitehorse Hamilton Square Road. Kessel Dermatology. They're good. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609 609- 882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine, the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Onerfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team, is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honor for your Mercer County prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. Hamilton Township in Mercer County is fortunate to have many fine businesses that serve our community. Saw Funeral Home is a fourth generation family owned business proud to support our local schools and community. Their compassionate and caring staff is there for you and your family. They'll bring the closure you deserve while also celebrating the life of your loved one. Visit their website at sawfuneralhomes.com. That's sawfuneralhomes.com. Saw Funeral Home at 3795 Nottingham Way, Hamilton Square. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, Advanced Medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. If you're looking to get a fresh start this year, we have some great news. New car inventory is back. We have over 100 new Toyotas ready to drive home today with some of our most popular models available. And with a huge selection of dependable certified used Toyotas, our pre-owned apartments are ready to make a deal that works for you. Plus, our award-winning service centers will have you in and out and back on the road in no time. Visit one of our three locations in Langhorne, Glen Mills, or Princeton, or online at teamtoyota.net. 
New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation. And that New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation. And that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. Hi, this is Mercer County Prosecutor Angelo Honorfree, and I hope you're enjoying today's game. I'd like to commend today's students for participating in today's event. Being a part of extracurricular activities, whether it's an athletic event, marching in the band, or performing in the school play, or being on the debate team is good for today's youth. And parents, stay involved in your children's activities and encourage them. An involved parent nurtures your children to accomplish great things. I'm proud to support the youth of Mercer County. This is Angelo Honorfree, your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. Proud to sponsor tonight's contest on WBCB is Jammer Doors and Windows. It's time to view the world through Jammer Doors and Windows, a family-owned and operated local business since 1920. And today, Jammer continues to have great sales, service, and installation of garage doors and openers, entry doors, patio doors, storm doors and windows. Jammer Doors features Rainer garage doors, steel or aluminum, and crafted for dependable, long-lasting service. Jammer Doors and Windows at 2850 Brunswick Pike, Business Route 1 in Lawrenceville. The Yardley Showroom open at the Yardley Grist Mill, 10 North Main Street. Now now open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Jammer Doors and Windows, a proud sponsor of tonight's contest here on WBCB. And the Hamilton Township School District has some announcements they want you to know about. The District Community Relations Committee is meeting from 5 to 6 p.m. on March 19th at Wilson Elementary School. The link to register and more information can be found at htsdnj.org. In the community section, questions can be sent to dcr at htsdnj.org. Hamilton Township School District virtual kindergarten registration and summer camp registration are now open online as well. htsdnj.org to register. At the half, 28's on the scoreboard here in the semifinals of the Central Jersey Group 3 playoffs. The defending champs, the North Stars, after getting dominated by the Colonials in the first quarter with a response in quarter number two. The three before the buzzer from Jordan Raba knots us up at 28 and more with stats is Fish for scores. Let's send it on over to Rich Fisher. Yeah, a lot of excitement in the gym tonight. Now, Mike, Mike Warren is very excited. He's just showing me the charger for his iPhone, the new charger that he's got. Tremendous. So I, it's a know, great product. I like that. A happy play-by-play -play man is a good play-by-play -play man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's run through the scoring here. Uh, for Freehold, we talked about their balanced attack. It, not looking that way right now. Uh, Christian De, De Gizzo and Kwamir Everett with 11 points each. Aiden Hamlin Wolfalk with four, and Will Hahn with two. So only four guys have scored for the Colonials. They're shooting nine for 22 from the field, uh, five for seven from the line, and they have five three pointers. However, only one after get only one in the second quarter after getting four in the first. For Nottingham, pretty balanced. Uh, Dom Raymond with eight, Dante Alexander with eight. Jordan Robert with five, Jameer Miller with five, and Sam Faithlin with two on that coast-to-coast -coast layup that I'm going to go home and watch that when I get home because that was, that was very unfaithlin-esque, but it was pretty <laughs> cool to see. He looked like the running back that he is going coast-to-coast right. -coast on that. Uh, Nottingham, 13 for 28 from the field, only one for two from the line. They haven't been getting to the line much. Um, Nottingham with nine turnovers. But they went from six to three in first to second quarter. Freehold with seven turnovers. And Nottingham continues to do a good job on the boards, out-rebounding Freehold 15 to 10. Everett's got six. For Nottingham, Jameer Miller has four. Raymond has four. So those two have four each. Uh, interesting, interesting first quarter. Uh, you know, Nottingham or Freehold, they, they had two binges. They got off to an eight to two lead. And then in the second quarter, they scored six straight, and that opened up a 26-15 lead. And then Nottingham closed it with a 13-2 run to tie it. So, I mean, 
Both teams work to give it leads or come back, and now we're right back to where we started. Second half, seconds from getting underway. Jordan Rama to inbound right in front of us here at the table. Nottingham will start with possession. Washington gets the inbounds pass, and we're underway in half number two. You know, it's interesting. You often wonder if a shot like Rabba took, if that carries over into the second half and lifts these guys, or, you know, if it's just, ah, uh, look, it's too, this game is just too going to be too tight to, for anything to really make that big of a difference. Washington knifing inside off the glass for two. His first points of the night, an aggressive take from Rashawn. A steal forced by him on the other side. Miller inside, has it poked free, gets it back. Alexander sidesteps, his three, it's good. Well, then again, maybe that three at the end of the half did, did provide a bigger spark. North Stars by five. Tassie to Wufolk. Here's Cranwell, now Everett. Each team with their starting five back out on the floor. Tassie inside, blocked! Miller says no! Coast to coast, Miller, right hand, won't drop. Raymond on the follow! Seven point lead for the North Stars! Yeah. Time oh, out! Nottingham to start quarter number three, and the Galaxy erupts! I'm a little surprised he didn't call timeout after that three because they came out. A quick bucket, a turnover, and then a quick three. That's a, that's a way to get a team really riled up. And now they come back with a blocked shot, and now another bucket. Raymond and Alexander into double figures with 10 and 11, respectively. Today's game brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association, who would like to take this opportunity to wish all their students the best of luck this school term. They are proud to support you. This message brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association. And don't forget, if you missed any of today's action, read all about it in tomorrow's edition of The Trentonian. For your complete local and national news seven days a week, it's The Trentonian or online at trentonian.com. The only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week, it's The Trentonian. Well, well now, they say it's a game of runs, and the North Stars having themselves a run to start quarter number three. Uh, well, yeah, actually, drifting back into the first half, we're looking at a 18 to two run right now, bridging the two halves. And you know, Nottingham showed that they they answered the, the big hole that they were in, but they're the home team and they're the defending champs. Let's see what a team like Freehold, which is on the road and has not won a sectional with this group. The guys who skip pass See up ahead to Everett. Respond. Blue Folk inside, won't finish. Second chance, left it short. Still loose, but Miller hauls it in for the North Stars. Who had that second chance? Second chance was Blue Folk again. Uh, okay. I was... Washington wanted to go up ahead to Raymond there. It'll turn it over off the hand of Dom Raymond, maybe with a, a little bit of a healthier left knee. He's able to jump a bit higher to haul that in, but just off the outstretched hands of Dom Raymond, a turnover back with the Colonials. Still by seven, the North Stars up top and in front. Tassie trying to get free, Miller's on him. Forcing the issue into the right corner. Loses his dribble, here's Rufel. Tassie steps in from 20 feet, off back iron. Washington with a long board. Head full of steam into the front court. Alexander, transition three, buries it! Dante Alexander, he's got 14. And he is feeling it. Stolen by Raba, the run out. Oh, oh he, went, he went down hard. Fouled by Everett inside. Almost another throwdown from Raba, just like he had last Tuesday. And Everett gonna get called for the foul. Yeah, well, that was a hard foul. You know, Robert was going in for the slam, and he didn't want to let that happen. Robert pops up quick. Yeah. And he's all right. A no. hard collision as bodies met at the rim. The Nottingham fans want it to be uh, intentional. They want they wanted two shots, but uh, that was just a good clean contest. There. Yeah, it was. I mean, that was what you had to do. You couldn't just give him the free the free slam. Robert gets the roll on the first. 
Jammer doors and windows since 1920, providing the area with great sales, service, and installation of garage doors and openers, entry doors, patio doors. You name the door, they've probably got it. Jammer doors and windows, 2850 Brunswick Pike, Business Route 1 in Lawrenceville, and the Yardley Grist Mill in Yardley, Pennsylvania, 10 North Main Street. Now open Monday through Friday from 10 to 4. Raba splits a pair at the line. North Stars by 11. Everett inside. Jump ball should be the call, but it's a travel instead. Oh, yeah. Raymond forces the walk, and the North Stars get the rock back. I am, uh, I'm a little shocked at what I'm witnessing right now. Yet to score in the quarter. The Colonials down by 11. 5.30 remaining in the third. Washington to Miller. Raymond with Cranwell on him. Out to Raba. Into Raymond. Oh. Left it short. Washington with a steal. Left hand strong. Raymond second chance. That'll go. Dom Raymond turning garbage into gold. He's got 12. And a timeout taken by Freehold Burrow. Second timeout in the first 2.55 of this quarter. We don't know what was said in the locker room of the North Stars, but a I fire has been lit. I don't think anything was said. I think, look, they, they ended that first half on a 13-2 run. They were playing absolutely great. I mean, I think the only thing he had to say was, boys, keep doing what you're doing, and then that's what they're doing. Scoreless in the quarter, the Colonials trying to find some answers as they take a full timeout. The Hamilton Township Division of Health offers a variety of free services to keep you and your community healthy. It's important for everyone to stay up to date on recommended vaccines. Whether you or a loved one needs a vaccine or an annual flu shot or a pneumonia shot, Hamilton's Division of Health is ready to help. You can visit hamiltonnj.com slash health for more information. hamiltonnj.com slash health. Stay healthy, Hamilton. I, I really think, I think that that three by Raba that tied the score, yeah, yeah, just, a little, just little psychological things. Like instead of going into the thing down three or down one, if it was a two, you're, you tied it. You, you were down 11 and now you tied it. I, I think that had a big carryover effect. <laughs> Ref trying to keep everybody calm out there. Trying to keep Washington and DeGuizo under control. <laughs> yeah. Play resumes here in the third quarter. Colonials looking for their first points of the second half. Corner, it's Cranwell. Out to DeGuizo, a three. It's good. They needed that. They absolutely did. I mean, they needed to just to... You know, they, they, I'm sure they were getting tighter and tighter the less the more they went without scoring. Washington to Miller inside. Kick to the corner. Alexander will pull it out and reset. Raba wanted the ball. He did. And now Chris Raba wants to take a timeout to yeah. negotiate some things with his squad. The younger Raba wanted the ball. The older Raba wanted the timeout. The older Raba got what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> 4.35 to go here in the third quarter. We'll step aside. North Stars by 10 here in the semifinals of the Central Jersey Group 3 playoffs. Hi, Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health, proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. North Stars with possession. 4.35 to go here in the third. Robin to inbound to Washington, and action resumes. Washington commanding the offense. Here's Alexander. Miller flashes high post. Raba, curl route three, hard off iron. Batted about and hauled in. This is DeGuizo with it. DeGuizo, excuse me. Cranwell thought about a triple. Steps inside, has it poked away. Saved by Washington. Hauled in by DeGuizo. And he is fouled by Miller. Yeah, they had him trapped, but then they got a little too over aggressive there. Washington helps DeGuizo off the ground and good sign of sportsmanship from both of the 
point guards on these squads. This is DeGaizo. First foul on Jameer Miller. Corner, Cranwell buries the three. His first points of the night. Yeah, we mentioned at the top that he uh, has more threes and twos, and they, they could go for some right now. Back to a single-digit contest. North Stars up by seven, and a 1-3-1 one, one zone now from Freehold Burrow, giving the North yeah. Stars a taste of their own medicine. Yeah. Miller. If you can do it, we can do it. Here's Washington to Raymond, high post. He'll go to work. Kick out, Raba, healthy three, mm -hmm. off iron. Rebound by Raymond. Muscling up and in. Dom Raymond takes him to the weight room. That is vintage, vintage Dom Raymond right there. Pokes it free. Numbers for the North Stars. Miller, right hand, left it short, but he draws the foul and a trip to the line for two. Dom Raymond getting a tough rebound and just somehow working his way back up with the shot to get a layup in. Raymond taking a couple of minutes outside of the paint. Crouched down like a catcher would be in baseball, just regrouping a bit as he's been dealing with that left bone bruise in his knee, as we talked about during the pregame show. Taking his time to kind of nurse the pain away is Raymond as Miller is at the line shooting two. That foul is on Lester, his first. Miller sinks the first, he has six. <laughs> Wu Folk and Han come back into the game. DeGaizo and Lester head over to the bench. And back to a 10 point lead. The Lions keep it around 10 11. Uh, you, you know, I'm not going to say it's comfortable, but it's a little less stressful. Miller's second shot is good. Perfect at the stripe that time. Three for four at the line overall for Jameer Miller. 11 point advantage for the North Stars. Their largest lead was 13. Tassie trapped and gets it to Wufolk. He needs help. Back low to Tassie. Alexander saves it. Last touched by Nottingham as Washington couldn't haul in the save attempt from Alexander. Boy, their defense has just been tremendous. Hands everywhere. Even when even when uh, Freehold was scoring points, they were playing pretty good D. Freehold was just shit. There's another one. Defense to offense. Miller slams it home. The Galaxy loves that one. Wow. That. <laughs> Tassie corner triple. The response. Wow, crowd silencer. His first points. All threes in the quarter. That's not easy to do. You get a turnover jam on a fast break, and then you come right back and calmly sink a three. Ten-point game. All three of their baskets this quarter have been three-pointers. For freehold. 1 3 1 zone from the Colonials. Alexander with Tassie all over him. Gets it away just before the double team comes. That one batted about. Alexander hauls it in on the deflection. He'll reset and switch sides of the floor. Alexander, right wing. The Binger is in fine voice tonight, I will say. <laughs> Having some fun here in the Galaxy, as are we here on uh -huh. WBCB. It's been a great one so far. If you're just joining us, Rich Fisher and Mike Warren here with you for the call. Nottingham looking to set up for a nice shot. Uh, there they get set up. Raymond. Raymond <laughs> counted and a chance for one more. Dom Raymond coming alive in half number two. Well, I'd hate to see him if he was healthy. <laughs> Raymond at the line for a chance at one more. He's got 16 on the night. Give him 17. It's a 13 point lead, tying their largest lead of the night are the North Stars. Tassie corner, Cranwell triple lined up. He's fouled, he'll shoot three. Cranwell to the stripe. Three shots on the way, 120 to go in the third quarter. Uh, Freehold's gonna have to figure some things out quick here. 
And Nottingham is teetering on uh, really blowing this thing open. Three shots for Cranwell at the line. These are big, big, big foul shots. Can't get the first to fall. The Italian People's Bakery, proud to support high school sports on WBCB. Visit them at 63 Butler Street for the finest rolls, deli meats, and pastries. Try by to smell the homemade bread made daily or have them cater your next party or affair. The Italian People's Bakery at 63 Butler Street in Chambersburg since 1936. Getting the second, Sam Cranwell, the senior guard, averaging six points a contest. He's got four on the night. Make it five. DeGaizo checks in. And Cormier Everett subs out. Full court press here from the Colonials. Robin to inbound. Gets it to Alexander. DeGaizo on Alexander. Washington can't handle the skip pass. Trying to go two guard high to break the full court pressure. It's an 11 point advantage for the North Stars. And the Colonials trying to cut into it. Will Hahn up ahead. DeGaizo, it's a battle of the 1 3 1 zones for each of these teams. Tassie corner, floater, rims out. Second chance, won't drop. Wolfolk with a third opportunity. DeGaizo pulls it out to reset. Hahn, corner, Tassie, baseline drive. He'll throw it down. Five in the quarter for Tassie. Nine point game. Alexander had options, almost walked. Free <laughs> old Burrow wanted it. Yeah, a lot of people behind that free old bench thought they walked. Washington pulls it out. Final 30 seconds of the third quarter. Not going to be shocked if you see the North Stars play for one. Right. Raba. And that's, and let me, let me tell you something. If you go into that fourth quarter with a nine point lead, at the at the worst. Well, now see, there's a turnover. No help from the sideline official, and from our vantage point, it looked like that ball was poked out of Dom Raymond's hands by two Colonials. Nonetheless, Colonials get possession back as a little bit of lacrosse rules playing effect. <laughs> Closest man to the ball gets it. Now it's getting near springtime. <laughs> Final seconds of the third. Chance for the Colonials to get some momentum back. Hahn lets it fly short, and that'll do it for three quarters of play. A nine-point advantage for the North Stars. 50 to 41 the score. The defending group three champs, one quarter away from advancing. Can the Colonials complete, complete the comeback here from the Galaxy? We'll find out on the other side of this timeout here on WBCB. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any maker model, Model. It's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! One quarter to play, and if you missed any of today's action, you can read all about it in tomorrow's edition of the Trentonian for a complete local and national news seven days a week. It's the Trentonian or online at trentonian.com, the only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week. It's the Trentonian. Through three quarters of play, the North Stars on top by nine. One quarter to decide this one. Freehold Burrow. You know, not to be overlooked is the job that they have done on Everett. That kid got 11 in that first quarter. He's been scoreless for the last two. Brian Tassie brings it up to start it off here in quarter number four. Tassie. Kick out, Cranwell. Wufel puts it on the floor, drives inside. A strong left hand is up and in. Six for Wufel on the night. Alexander trapped beyond half court. Works out of it. Baseline drive, but he walked. Three holds starting to inch their way back here. Not panicking. 
And, and they had to. They had, they had reached the tipping point. Nottingham was ready to blow this thing open. And Freehold has done a really nice job of sticking around. To Geizo inside. But he walked. Boy, we're seeing a lot of traveling calls tonight. The guys who thought he had a hop step there, but just shuffled the feet a little too quick. The refs noticed. This is Rashawn Washington. Cranwell all over him. Washington met with a double team.